Welcome to the Stanford Scholar presentation on Color ID, Improving Color Identification for People with Impaired Color Vision. Being able to identify colors is a fundamental human ability. Color identification helps us work, get dressed, prepare food, and keep safe. Colors are used for identification purposes in both natural and man-made objects. Some prominent examples are traffic signals, internet, and cooking raw food items. But for the 5% of the world with impaired color vision, or ICV, color identification is often a challenge, resulting in frustration and confusion with sometimes dangerous consequences. Color namer tools have been proposed as a solution. However, these are often slow to use and the color's names are hard to understand. Imprecise recognition adds another layer of difficulty and makes millions of people desperate for an innovative solution. The primary research objective being chased by the authors is to find a better solution to help people with ICV in their day-to-day -day activities and interactions. In pursuit of this objective, the authors propose three new techniques for people with ICV, namely color names, color meters, and color popper. They used a new color name dictionary based on the largest color naming experiment to date. They evaluated these three techniques and showed that all three give people with CVD almost the same color identification accuracy as people without CVD and do it faster than existing color names. They improved color to name mappings for color identification by adapting a previously published color name dictionary to color identification tools. Existing color name dictionaries contained color names that were imprecise or difficult to understand. Thus, a new dictionary was created from 5 million color and name pairs. Each of the 65,536, or 2 raised to the power of 16, colors were mapped to the most common human name. This resulted in a set of 33 unique color names, which were mapped to their simplified forms, thus resulting in 11 basic color terms. The first color identification technique, called color names, is a direct extension of existing color namers that decompose the image into a tiled arrangement of small rectangles. The average RGB color of rectangles is calculated and converted to RGB 565, which is used to look up names in the color name dictionary. It replaces the physical search of color namers with a visual search task. In other words, users scan with their eyes rather than scanning physically. The second technique, called color meters, presents a simple visualization in the form of a gauge instead of the name. It replaces tiled color names with a visualization using tiled color meters. Color meters replaces the high load of linearly reading English color terms in color names with scanning for simple visual patterns. The third technique, namely color popper, allows users to find a unique color via a visualization technique called pop-out effect, in which particular data points are highlighted from the rest of the data, allowing rapid and easy identification in visualizations. This addresses the limitation of color meters, which requires training before use. In a desktop implementation evaluation, 22 participants, 50% of which had CVD, were asked to identify the odd color out in a 10 by 7 grid of colored circles on a black background. 69 of these circles were one color, and the remaining circles were of another color. For analysis, accuracy, mean completion time, and several other parameters were measured. In the mobile implementation evaluation, each tool was implemented on an Android smartphone. With the black background replaced with a white background, screens from the desktop were printed on a white paper and shown to participants one at a time in randomized order. The participants used each tool in counterbalance order to see if they could identify the target color with each tool and rate their experience. Results for the desktop implementation show that all techniques achieve higher accuracy than with no assistance. Accuracy doesn't decrease completion time either. For example, Popper takes the least time with nearly 100% accuracy. Moreover, there is a reduced perceived effort while improving perceived performance. The mobile implementation evaluation showed that mobile names was significantly worse than all other conditions. Additionally, color grab was worse than eyes and mobile popper. The primary application of these tools is aiding color vision impaired people in reading color codes, estimating food ripeness, and diagnosing medical conditions like rashes and burns. Additionally, this technology can be used for computer vision applications like color-based object recognition, reading data from visualizations, and wearable displays for users with ICD. 
Here's a quick summary of this talk. Thanks for watching. Please go to scholar.stanford.edu for more talks.